Alrighty here. Here we are, 616 years in the future, and the map is pretty consolidated. What's going on here? Mesopotamia owns the Byzantine Empire for some reason. The Andalus has expanded into North Africa. Lutherignia owns most of uh, Aquitaine, and it looks like Wales might be the more powerful of the kingdoms in the British Isles. So with syncretism for both Muslims and Christians in effect, it seems like uh, there might be a lot more uh, alliances in general where we see people uh, allying with people you would normally not see just because they normally are feuding. Uh, so let's get underway by just talking about faith. Um, seeing as it is a pretty interesting map already, um, Looks like Orthodox has pretty much been stamped out except for a couple different counties. Looks like actually, I think this will be one of the first times where Catholicism almost is almost beat out by Ashari. Uh, and then Matudriism uh, making a move uh, into Denmark of all places. I'm not sure why. As for culture, we'll probably see some interesting combinations. Butri, Egyptian, uh, that's pretty standard, I feel like. Uh, here in, in Europe, we have Rhinelander, uh, becoming Bessanonican, becoming something else. French is still a thing. Anglo-Saxon is still a possibility. Um, Welsh, Anglo-Saxon, great stuff there. Danish, Sweden, Norway, all fine. Um, Moron? Moron? Just, uh, I don't know. The AI doesn't really use it as much as they should. Um, from there, we like to go to the kingdom map mode just to see what gross, gross things have come about. Um, Seeing as Lotharignia has Aquitaine, I assumed they would have uh, completely taken over that, but nope. Uh, Wales owns Ireland, uh, Denmark owns most of Sweden and or Norway. As for the Empire map mode, uh, that's going to give us probably what I was thinking, yeah. So the Lotharignian Empire is taking over uh, southern Francia. Um, the Arabian Empire, I'm surprised, is still around because uh, I thought the Mesopotamians had already taken over that land and forced them out. Um, West Slavia expanding a little bit. Scandinavia expanding a little bit. Uh, the Mongols, once again, like we saw with just the every county uh, being a barony one, they did not expand very far. Um, maybe just due to the fact that the Muslims and Christians were allied to each other, so they were much harder to take on. How did he die? Frozen to death on the 4th of... January 1203. So he pretty much probably spawned and then died when then his son took over. And that's where we saw a major expansion. And that's probably why we saw such a short lived empire. Really interested in seeing how they gain control over the Byzantines. So it says swore fealty. I don't understand how he swore fealty. Like the empire swore fealty to him. That doesn't make sense because there's no way he can do that. My guess is what happened is maybe the empire crashed. And the, because if you look at the Byzantine Empire, it's run all by one kingdom. So maybe it fell apart and then they swore fealty. I don't know. That's a, that seems like a mystery. Usually I've never really understood when it says swore fealty. When you're both on an empire tier level, you shouldn't be able to swear fealty. So that's a confusing tidbit there. They're probably the most powerful, but let's just double check anyways, because we like to see who is the most powerful in the game. We have, of course, our boy Caliph Jahan III. And then we have Kaiser Milo of Lotharignia. And then we have uh, King Arnold IV the Maul. Um, he is a Carling still, uh, which is surprising because we also see down here uh, Empire of Italia also is a Carling. I don't know how those two have stayed Carlings when all of the, it seems like all their other brethren family members have switched to their own version of carling carlings are still alive and well in a lot of places damn um well the the base carling everybody else is still there uh family wise i wish during this map mode you could just switch it to like show the dynastic house and not just the house uh so that you could see this would all be carling 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 Carling, 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 Carling. Last, let's look and see if there's any major alliances between uh, Muslims and Christians. I see some right here. Looks like these two have found an agreement. Uh, they're allied with Christians only. Because how hard is it? No, see, they have an alliance with the... Somehow these two 
uh, Christian states have decided, yes, we need to have an alliance with the Mesopotamians or they will put us next on the chopping block. What have we learned from this excursion? Um, somehow you can swear fealty at an empire level tier, which I think there's something else there that I'm missing. There are alliances between Christians and Muslims, but it seems few and far between as we had seen before. Um, when in doubt, the Mongols are gonna be less uh, prolific when Temujin dies young, and the Karlings will seemingly always be very powerful in if you start in an 867 start date. Yeah, I think that's, that's a pretty good uh, summation of this time lapse. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and as always, have a good rest of your day. Ciao.